Today we finally crossed the finish line with the Coleman Mini Bike, now known as Holy Smoke. In previous videos, we've fabbed a custom headlight mount, built a Springer seat, and lit it up with some wiring. You can see all those videos and more builds to come if you subscribe and hit the bell. Today we're going to paint the Mini and leading up to the prep work, I took everything apart and I actually got bored during our yard sale and just started taking stuff off. I think it only took about 15 minutes to tear the whole thing down. I started the prep work by scuffing down the frame. I also scuffed and cleaned the fenders but the tank needed a little extra care. I smoothed the seam where the two halves met and took a little material off around the storage door to allow clearance for a good amount of clear coat. Then I used an adhesion promoter on the tank before priming. I primed it with a direct metal primer and surfacer so it's fine on bare metal and the prepped painted surfaces. Painting the frame was kind of a bear. I tried to turn down the flow and fog it into the nooks and crannies but that didn't work so great with the thick primer. Finally I just laid it on and figured I'd deal with the runs if I had any. As far as the rest of the parts, just business as usual. As always I did two coats of primer, sanded it with 400 grit, then two more coats and more 400 grit and followed that up with 600 grit before paint. I'm using a urethane automotive paint system for this. Overkill, I know, but the longevity of the paint and the time I'm going to put into the artwork, it's the only choice. I applied two coats of black paint on everything. Then to avoid some possible problems in the future, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a couple of coats of clear and wet sand the tank and fenders before airbrushing. Had I done this before I painted the letters on my Honda, it would have been an easy fix for my misspelled logo. I decided on a skull theme because I just painted a bunch of them on one of our monster truck buses. None of the stencils I have had a lower jaw, and I wanted to steal an idea from Mike Christensen, the driver of the Vendetta monster truck, and put my facial hair on a skull. This will be Bam's favorite part of the video. I made my own stencil for the tank and the battery died before I could film actually painting it, but here is a time lapse of the rear fender. I've never been able to paint realistic flames, but this time I was determined and opted for a smoky look. After I posted a picture of it on Mini Bike Maniacs, this nice man posted this, and I decided then and there the name of this bike should be Holy Smoke. While the clear is curing, I got the new Predator 212 engine ready by removing the governor and installing a stage one kit from Go Power Sports. I also did 18 pound vial springs and a torque converter. I'll go into more detail about this on a future build, but this is my first time doing it and there are a ton of videos out there so I'll spare you my broken explanations. Then it's time to put it all back together. This was crazy fun and the simplicity of these bikes helped the project come together super fast. I'm really looking forward to my next project. It's going to be my daughter's coffin themed Coleman CT200U she calls Bones. 
It'll be complete with a trailer she can haul the bike on and then pull the trailer with it when she gets where she's going. Make sure and like, subscribe, and ring the bell to see the upcoming projects and some announcer life videos thrown in. I'm Kenny, this is Sagebrush Soul, and may the best of your past be the worst of your future.